We begin with the cruel scam that's left TV chef Danny Venn and her young family homeless. Hackers stole $250,000, the money they'd just earned from the sale of their house. Reporter Reid Butler will join us in a moment, but first, how the scammers were able to steal so much money so easily. This is our life savings here. Like, we've got two small children. We've got a four and a half month old and a three and a half year old. You know, you can't do this to people. In an instant, we are sold. Chris and his wife, former MasterChef star Danny Venn, lost their life savings and a place to call home. It's got to have just have been overwhelming. You feel embarrassed. You feel bad for everybody else that you're putting out and that you're having to ask for help. I'm having to sleep in a caravan, so I can't be there for my family. It's a bit, a bit squashy, as you can, uh, as you can see. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not right. It shouldn't be happening. They just sold their semi-rural property and were planning to use the $250,000 to settle on a new place near the beach like they'd always dreamed. But before the money from the sale hit their account, it was stolen by hackers. It could happen to anyone buying or selling a property. I mean, that's what we're all scared about. It could happen to you, it could happen to me, it could happen to anyone that's buying a house um, that's forced to use this electronic platform. Jasmine and Their conveyancer was using the online property home. transfer Thanks company, Pexa, Pexa which claims to be... Transparent, secure, fast. But the process was compromised and it's cost this young Melbourne couple everything. They won't give us back our money unconditionally and all we want is for our own money back. Like, we're being treated like criminals, like we've done something wrong. We haven't done anything wrong, we've only put faith in the system. Unable to settle on their new property and with the buyers already moved in to their old place, they're stuck in every family's worst nightmare. This past week has been horrific. I feel like I'm just spinning in a vortex and I can't get out. While Chris sleeps in the caravan, Danny and her two young children are bunking in this small room at her mum's house. Yeah, it's just been so stressful and it's yeah, really hard on the family. It all seems to have just been too easy for the hackers. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just disgusting. People think, oh yeah, sure, they, they're going to get it back. A hacker took it, they, they're going to get it back. Actually, no, we're not going to get it back. Not unless, like, we fight for it. Now, Danny and Chris are paying $500 a day in contractual penalties because they missed the settlement. And if they don't come up with the $120,000 required to finalise the purchase of their new property by the end of this week, they'll lose the home and their deposit. Is there any better bid above two million? Australia is in the process of converting from the traditional title paper system of exchanging property to online systems. Hexa is revolutionising Australia's property industry. The private cyber company in charge of the evolution is Property Exchange Australia, or PEXA, and is backed by the state governments and the big banks. Paperwork is significantly reduced and funds are transferred electronically, meaning fast access to cleared funds. And no more PEXA banks. is relatively new, but has experienced phenomenal growth in recent years and is currently planning a $1.1 billion public listing on the Australian Stock Exchange. You put your faith in the governments and the banks to do the right thing. Um, and the fact that PEXA is a privately owned company, the shareholders are the four major banks and four state governments in Australia. So if you can't trust them, who can, you, who can you trust? The couple's conveyances were using PEXA to settle on the new home, and that's when the hackers struck. The fraudsters accessed her conveyances PEXA account, adding themselves as another user, before stealing the $250,000 and transferring that money into their account. The PEXA system does not require additional users on a conveyances account to provide proof of identity. The 250000 went across to the hacker's account. CBA told us that they'd frozen it, but they'd actually only been able to recover $138,000. So the remaining is, is unrecoverable, we've been told. The most frightening bit about this major cyber security breach is that PEXA and the electronic exchange of property is likely to become mandatory for all potential homeowners in Victoria and WA in October and New South Wales from next month. PEXA is committed to supporting the transition to a 100% digital conveyancing process that's fast, safe and efficient for the whole of the Australian property industry. From the start, they were on the front foot, absolute denial. 
absolute denial of any wrongdoing, any responsibility. And that's, that's just so wrong for a company of that size. They need to guarantee that this system is secure in order for it to become compulsory or else this is going to keep happening again. After Danny threatened to go to the media, PEXA offered to loan the outstanding cash, but with strict conditions. If the couple accepted, they'd have to pay back the money, whether their conveyancing cybercrime insurance claim was successful or not. They were going to loan us the money and we'd have to pay it back again, so double. PEXA would also put a caveat on their new property and if the couple took up the offer, they'd also need to stop criticising PEXA in public, with lawyers for the e-conveyancing giant writing, PEXA would expect that they not disparage PEXA to the media, but confirm in any discussions with the media that PEXA has been proactive in assisting them. That's not OK. That's lying. And, you know, we have values and ethics and we're not breaking them because they don't want the public to know what's going on. We need competition in place because at the moment, PEXA is a monopoly. David Buxton is Director of Sydney Legal Agents and acts on behalf of more than 500 lawyers and conveyances who oppose PEXA becoming mandatory for Australian property transfers, citing security and cost concerns for clients. PEXA are uh, sort of saying, look, um, go back to your insurers or go back to your conveyancer. It's not, not really anything to do with us. Information is easily shared across all participants. These are just some of the many benefits of e-conveyancing. I think most of us think, um, gee, we needed something a bit stronger than that uh, in terms of the controls of the environment. So he says the state governments have an interest in privatising the industry through PEXA because they can reap huge benefits from selling traditional land title offices. So the New South Wales government were the first to do it and they got $2.6 billion for the sale of the New South Wales titles office. Now Danny and Chris just have to hope their insurance comes through, but that investigation could take months. We want to make sure that this doesn't happen again to anybody else. Like, no one deserves to be in this situation. And we just want our money back. That's bottom line. Just give us our money back. You can't blame them. Reporter Reid Butler joins us now. Reid, this is about $112,000 we're talking about here. PEXA is about to launch on the stock exchange for a billion dollars. Wouldn't you think they would restore the VEN's money and look after their security and their reputation? Yeah, you'd think they would, Tracy. Instead, uh, PEXA are digging their heels in. Late today, they sent us a statement maintaining their system is safe and it wasn't compromised. Instead, they've laid the blame on the conveyancer's shoulders, saying it's up to them to ensure that the settlement process is completed accurately. Despite telling us that, though, they then also went on to say that they'll be upgrading their security system and that PEXA will be putting extra measures in place to make sure that this sort of uh, fraud doesn't happen again. Interesting, considering they're saying they've got nothing to do with it. That loan, with all those conditions, still stands. This is not an isolated case, is it? No, it isn't. A current, a current affair can reveal, and we've obtained emails of two separate times uh, that PEXA was warned in writing of similar breaches. Once on May 17, where a client lost around $700,000, and another time on May 31st, where a client lost more than $1 million. Now, if PEXA had alerted its conveyancing network of these serious breaches, Danny and her family would have almost certainly not used PEXA to do their settlement process. They would have okay. been in their home tonight. All right. Thank you very much, Reid. I'm sure we'll stay on it.